my suspenders. Another question. A couple more questions and we're going to quit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, looking back on your life, uh, what would you change? What hasn't you changed? Well, when I was 16, I would have jumped into bed with that Sicilian boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I think I did. I, I don't know. Maybe that was an ultimate universe. I don't know. Questions? What's your favorite story? I got it. Oh, right, right. That's right. He's in print, so I better not. I better. Um, 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 come on, one more question, and then we'll call it quits. Paula, my dear friend Paula, from Philly. She's from Philly. Philly! We, we were these crazy young actors. My God, we were so young, weren't we? We were these crazy actors back in Philly. She was in Dyke Tactics, and I was in, I don't know, Radical Queens. And we were just outrageous as all hell. I don't know how we didn't get murdered. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so my, my question is, what are the three highlights of your life, and I hope Tony is in it, by the way, but what are some of the great highlights of your life up till now? Oh, really? The great pilots of his life. Oh, 
I don't know. I mean, obviously knowing all of you people and being here. Yeah. This is great. I mean, you folks are my family, you know? So that's one. I don't know what the other ones are. That's a great time of 60 and being surprised to find you still alive and free. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And especially I want to say because so many of my friends died in the 80s. Yeah. And I never thought I'd live to be this long. Get this old, whatever. So, you know, when people say to me, well, you don't look 60, blah, blah, you know what? This is what 60 looks like. <laughs> you know? Yeah. For me, this is what 60 looks like. And maybe we have the wrong perception of 60 in our society. Maybe we need to be rethinking what old, what old age looks like and what old people look like. And the, right, right, Becky? I mean, why is this part of you look 60? Yeah, look. <laughs> rid of all these preconceived notions and stereotypes, but hell, you know, we, we are who we are, and 60 doesn't mean what it used to mean. You know, the old stereotypes, and that's why, you know, that's why I say, so this is what 60 looks free like. free love and revolution. Yeah, free love and revolution, let's do it. Where's your gray hair? I'm not going to show it. Yes? Uh, do you feel like you've seen any of the positive things you looked for in Smash the Church, Smash the State happen since then? Wow, what are all these heavy crowds <laughs> <coming from? laughs> <laughs> What do you think I am? Um, you know, I, honestly, I think one of the things, no, honestly, you know, that, that is a good question. And I, I just got asked this in a college classroom I did recently, because of my book, Smash the Church, Smash the State. If you haven't gotten it, take it up. Smash the Church, Smash the State. It's about... The early years of the gay liberation movement, and Paula's in it, and Mara's in it, and anybody else here in the book? I forget who's in the book, but anyway. Nico, Nico's is in the book. Um, they have it in the library. It's put out by City Lights, which is a great publisher. It's a lefty publisher. We all should support City Lights. So if you can afford it, if you can manage it, if you go on their website, it's 30% off. They give you a discount. But we, we, we need to support radical publishers because there aren't enough of them. You know, and they're doing good work. They're publishing really good shit. But I think to answer your question, seriously, I was thinking about this the other day when I did this classroom. I think one of the things that I'm proud of is, you know, when I came out, I, I did a lot of questioning about my gender, and I, you know, did a lot of gender fuck and, and questioning of roles and the binary gender system and everything. And, you know, I'm really proud of the fact that I, I think it was our early efforts in bringing together people who were questioning gender and bringing together a transgender movement, even though we didn't call it that. I mean, I think I'm really proud that we, we, we laid a lot of groundwork. And when I go to college campuses and I see students are so much more together about the idea that gender is a spectrum and that people can be free to define their own gender and to be who they are. You know, I, I always, and maybe this is egotistical, but I always think this is the work that we did. We laid the seeds for this, for this to be able to blossom now, because it really is blossoming in a way that it didn't blossom 40 years ago. And we wanted it to, but we didn't make it blossom. And I think that's one of the things maybe I'm really proud of that, that we did. I'm certainly not proud of some of the other stuff, like don't ask, don't tell, <laughs> uh, gay marriage and all, but that's not that discussion. That, that's not my agenda. But, but I, think, I think that's one thing that hopefully, I don't know. What, I don't know. Thank you.